Hello, C4SO. Hello, church family. Um, hello to you from one of your brothers in the upper left. Uh, a warm-ish and today non-rainy hello from from us at All Souls in Seattle, Washington. My name is Andy Palander. I'm the rector here. Um, thankful, as always, to be able to share um, some prayer and uh, needs that we have, um, and also just to invite you to celebrate with us. Um, we have, for about a year, uh, been in a in a rebuilding space from COVID. It's taken um, until about a year ago, uh, February of 22, uh, for us to begin to actually stabilize. And we're really excited and thankful for the ways over this past year uh, that stability has brought a sense of renewed connection and community and just uh, a space for us to be asking again the questions we've always asked at All Souls about uh, how we make room for other people and how we exist in our neighborhood as a church that's not just for itself. Um, encouraged by new new faces, um, new people showing up, new people, I think, looking for uh, hope uh, and um, a sense of belonging uh, post-pandemic, uh, but also thankful just for the ways that people are taking risk to uh, to serve and to build community and to be, uh, to show up fully as themselves in relationship. And I think that that is bearing a lot of fruit for us as a community that's um, in many ways uh, experiencing a, a kind of 2.0 all souls um, on this side of the uh, the severest parts of COVID. Um, I would say um, thankful for our team and uh, just the ways that they have weathered and served our leadership. Our staff and vestry have shown up um, a lot of times in a lot of spaces where there were real obstacles. Uh, we've met uh, online, we've met in parking lots, we've met in other people's buildings. Um, and now we meet at uh, at a church in our neighborhood in the afternoon, which are both a first for us. We've never met in a church building in 14 years, um, and we've never met in the afternoon, but those have actually uh, proven to be really um, positive things for us. Um, it does conflict this week with the Super Bowl to be having church right uh, in the middle of the game, but oh well, we carry on. Um, I think, uh, so I invite our diocese to just join us in prayer as we celebrate those things, as we um, ask God to continue to be at work, and uh, just are reminded that uh, it's his hand, it's his spirit, it's his effort, it's his love um, that make these things possible and are good to remember in the more uh, discouraging moments. Um, I would ask for prayer. I think... Um, I imagine this may be a, a, a prayer request that's familiar to many of us, that uh, in the midst of health, in the midst of, of life, uh, in the midst of God being very evident in a community like ours, um, there are also things that tend to emerge. Um, I think the enemy uh, wants to thwart and wants to accuse and wants to just complicate and frustrate our efforts to really show up the ways we want to, uh, to love each other well. And so um, I am aware and uh, certainly have just been carrying some some weight, um, some heaviness, some, uh, I think, uh, not fear, but uh, am, am coming before Jesus and asking him to push back the forces um, of, of darkness and evil and um, ill-timed uh, uh, power saws. Jesus would simply push back um, the activities and efforts that thwart his good work. Um, and uh, that for any in our community, any in our neighborhood who who sense a barrier, who sense some kind of disqualification, who sense just uh, uh, an apprehension about showing up and bringing everything that they are and trusting that God can hold that, um, that all those barriers would be, uh, would be removed. And so uh, bless all of you in your continued work as you... Uh, Seek the kingdom as you um, winsomely tell the story and bear witness to the work and, and love of Jesus Christ. And uh, pray for us up here if you think of us. Um, we are delighted to be part of this family and grateful for a chance to pray with you.